All right, now that I've calmed down from my ranger gasm, let's talk about this trailer from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. I already did a reaction to it, but now let's break it down, talk about some of the things in it. Now let me preface this by saying that I love Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and I love Power Rangers the franchise, but I'm not as hardcore of knowing every single factoid like some of y'all out there. Some of y'all are hardcore. So if there's any Easter egg or anything that I missed in this, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm just gonna let you know the stuff that I noticed and also just let you know the feels that I have for this because I got some feels. Overall, oh my gosh. Wow. I know this is the trailer and I have not seen the special yet, but this is always something I have wanted from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Being able to have the style that we remember from the classic series, but aging it up with the audience that obviously grew up with it. And I like that. And also they use some of that Netflix money. Because <laughs> overall, the look of this trailer is awesome. Now it still looks like a television show. I wasn't expecting some big budget movie look for this Power Rangers special, but considering that it used to be a show with some footage shot in California and some footage taken from Japan. Seeing it shot like this with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with the sweeping shots, with the all original footage, with the Zords at the end, it looks very similar to recent seasons of Power Rangers. Any upgrade with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers especially is definitely gonna be great. At the beginning of this trailer, we see the Rangers, some putties, and a robotic Rita Repulsa. Rita is back! She's ready for revenge, and she still has that sweet voice from Barbara Goodson, reprising her role as Rita Repulsa. It's time for revenge! I'm just curious who made the robot. Was it Finster? The Machine Empire from Zio? Tesla? Who made the robot? Now, if you're someone who follows the Power Rangers lore, the big question you might have here is, wait a minute. Didn't Rita turn good? Let's see if I can break this down as best as possible. In the finale of Power Rangers Space, Zordon's energy tube was cracked, he was released, and he purified some of the villains, including Rita and Lord Zed. And then Rita eventually became Mystic Mother. But listen to what she says in this trailer. After all these years, I found a new body. After all these years, I found a new body. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm just pure speculating here. I don't think they're retconning Rita to make her evil again. The body of Rita is good. But that evil soul that was taken out of her, where did that go? Me thinks this is where it ended up 30 years later. I don't know. Obviously the show is gonna explain it, but that's what I'm thinking just looking at it. Lord Zed was also made good in the same purification sequence. If you've been watching Power Rangers Dino Fury, spoiler alert, you know that Lord Zed came back in that, but they explained that Lord Zed was taken from a previous time before he turned good. I reincarnated Zed at his most vile. So now we have an evil Lord Zed back in Dino Fury slash Cosmic Fury and an evil robotic Rita now in this special. Oh man, if those two somehow meet. Rita zaps at Billy, you hear Trini say no! There's a bunch of quick shots, and then we see a shot of David Yost and Walter Jones, Billy and Zack, taking off their helmets, looking down at something. You see the other Rangers join them, still wearing their helmets, but you don't see a yellow ranger. And then right in the next scene, we hear, She killed mom. We see Trini's daughter, obviously upset. So I guess it's safe to assume that in this scene, Rita destroys Trini the yellow ranger. Oh, I'm sorry, not destroy, kill. They actually use the K word, which that's a big deal for Power Rangers. So I'm pretty sure it's well known, but just in case you don't know, Tui Trang, who played Trini the yellow ranger in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, had an unfortunate accident and passed away years ago. So it seems like this special is going to be some tribute to her, and it looks like from the scene that she might be making the ultimate sacrifice to save her fellow ranger, which is a very noble thing to do. As we know from other franchises, it's always a difficult thing to figure out how to deal with a character when the actor that plays that character has passed away. But obviously doing this 30th anniversary special, honoring Power Rangers 30 years, you wanna honor her. So of course, I'm just hoping it's obviously done respectfully. And you can already tell from that shot where it's a picture of her in the frame next to a picture of the mom drawing. The feels are gonna be coming in with this one. I can feel it already. Like it says in the trailer, the robotic Rita has created a time portal and she plans to go back in time to kill Rangers before they become Rangers. It's not exactly the plot of the Shadow grid comic book but it's definitely giving me shattered grid vibes look at that slick sweet command center getting the upgrade ooh, ooh! someone had a extreme makeover command center edition <laughs> yeah man it looks good i even love that they still have the cracked zordon energy tube in there kind of looks like they're shaped like the hyperforce symbol really nice <laughs> and you even got alpha five there and richard horwitz yes invader zim himself reprises his role as alpha five attention power rangers get to your assigned state now. We see them looking at a monitor. It's a red alert, red alert. And I love on the screen that they're calling this the Bandora Protocol. So Power Rangers is adapted from a Super Sentai series called Zoo Ranger. And in that, Rita was called the Witch Bandora. 
So, Bandora Protocol. Aha. <laughs> one of these days, Andre. Watch Super Sentai. One of these days. The screen is also scrolling through other locations that have been referenced in other seasons of Power Rangers. You got Coral Harbor from Beast Morphers, Reefside from Dino Thunder, Astro Megaship from In Space, Turtle Cove from Wild Force, Terra Venture from Lost Galaxy. It's just wild thinking about how long this franchise has gone and how much lore is in it. And just hearing these references, man, it just makes me want to just do a full marathon of all of Power Rangers because there's some seasons I haven't seen all of. There's some seasons I've seen very little of. There's some seasons I haven't seen for a long time. I just want to watch the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole plate. If you join my Patreon, I'll do a reaction to every Power Rangers episode ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Needing some backup, Alpha, Billy, and Zach call up Catherine and Rocky. If you haven't watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers since season one, <laughs> let me explain. Rocky was brought onto the team as the new Red Ranger when season two, and Catherine was the replacement for Kimberly when she left in season three. And the fact that some people didn't realize that, again, is very telling that for some people, Power Rangers is just nostalgia from the 90s and not a thing they kept up with since then. Hasbro, make more lightning collection figures. Gotta educate the people. Obviously with Zack, Black don't crack. Seeing Walter Jones in the front yelling it's morphin' time just makes me so happy. He said it before in the original series, but seeing it shot this way, I was like, keep it in Andre, keep it in, keep those tears in. I don't know, it's just something magical about that. Walter Jones, he left the show in season two. David Yost left the show later, and both of them have not been back on Power Rangers since. Always wanted them to come back, and so the fact that they're not only back in this special, but they are front and center just means so much to me that they are getting this spotlight that they both truly deserve. And it just makes me so happy. And seeing Walter Jones just right up front, seeing the Zack man yelling out his morphin' time in front of the team. Ooh! Oh man, it's so good. It's morphin' time. We're getting returning monsters in this, Minotaur and Snizzard, and they look to be part robotic as well. Is this gonna be a new thing in Power Rangers? Robotic versions of past villains? I'm down with that. This shot right here, just panning through the Rangers, fighting the putties on a steady cam one shot. Who is this the Daredevil hallway scene for Power Rangers? Just watching Power Rangers fight putties just never goes out of style. I can watch that all day. <laughs> and it's not a Power Rangers without an explosion behind the team. Classic. We get a cameo from Adam and Aisha. Adam and Aisha came in with Rocky in season two. Adam becoming the Black Ranger, Aisha the Yellow Ranger. And he looked to be wearing some kind of uniform with a badge that says SPA. Now this might be a reference to SPD, AKA Space Patrol Delta, Power Rangers SPD. So maybe the SPA stands for Space Patrol Alpha or Space Patrol Academy, or maybe even stands for Space Patrol Adam and Space Patrol Aisha. <laughs> Also, shout out to Karen Ashley. It's just so cool to see her back. This is her first time returning to Power Rangers since she left the series. She technically didn't even get like a proper send off because they turned them into kids and then her kid version went away and we never saw her again. Power Rangers got a lot going on, y'all. If, you, if you're new to this. <laughs> there's a lot to explain. Even I don't know all of it, but there's a lot. There's a wiki. It'll help you out. Now, when does Tanya show up? When are we gonna get Tanya some love? Where's the Zio special? I need some Nakia Maurice! We also see a shot that seems like Rita might be returning to her palace on the moon. And it looks like we're getting a fight at Ernie's place, AKA the Angel Grove Youth Center and Juice Bar, where everything happened on that show. <laughs> if it wasn't happening in school and it wasn't happening in the park, it happened at the Youth Center. <laughs> Those are the three locations of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't know if this is gonna happen. They haven't said anything, but man, if we're going to the Juice Bar, seems like a good place to have a bulk and skull cameo is that asking for too much i know i'm probably asking for too much but man i really hope bulk and skull are in this bump, 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 bump. I love that we get to see Zach and Rocky, aka Walter and Steven, fighting in this scene in civilian mode. I always have been a fan of civilian fights in Power Rangers. So the fact that they are going to have some scenes where they're fighting in civilian mode, we get to see them doing this stuff themselves. That's really cool. But obviously for some of the major Ranger fights where they're probably going to be using some stunt people, shout out to the stunt team. Especially with this one shot where Billy flips over the robotic Rita. I was like, dang, that's nice. Loved how they mixed the Power Rangers theme into the score.
we get a bunch of quick cut fade in fade out of faces we even get this shot of it looks like the red ranger trying to catch somebody who's fallen and then the money shot baby the freaking Zor is doing that classic standing side-by-side -side Zord run that we remember from the original series, but it ain't that Japanese footage. Yeah, man, we getting actual updated Zords in this. It looks really cool. I just, I think that's awesome. All original, respect. Even got that Megazord holding the sword up at the end right before the logo comes up. Beautiful, baby. Megazord looking so fresh, so clean. Ah. Now available in stores. <laughs> love that logo, looking sharp. And I love that cute moment at the end with Zach and Trini's daughter talking about, hey man, we saved the world before, we can do it again. I love that confidence. This is gonna be interesting because this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We got the suits, we got the juice bar is back, we got the putties back. So it's the typical Power Ranger stuff that we've seen, but obviously with a serious thing that happens in this, feels akin to the Power Rangers comics where it's like, yeah, you get those elements of Power Rangers that we're used to, but it looks like the stakes are getting raised. This could be a nice bold step for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Power Rangers in general when it comes to entertainment. This could be the first step in them being able to make obviously not R-rated stuff, but like more mature than the typical TV show stuff with Power Rangers. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna still have some typical Power Ranger stuff in there that we're used to. And I think that it's working because there are people on my timeline and my social medias that hardly ever talk about Power Rangers who are talking about this or sharing this. Now, no word yet on what they're going to do about JDF. And obviously there's a Green Ranger in this, but I don't think Jason David Frank is playing him. This was already in production. And from what I understand, he was not going to be a part of it to begin with but obviously he has passed since then. So I don't know if they had enough time to do anything in the actual show to honor him as well, but I'm pretty sure if not, they're gonna put something in maybe the credits or something like that to take care of that. By the way, Jason David Frank has a movie of his own coming out soon called Legend of the White Dragon. Obviously it's sad that not every ranger is in this. I know it's not the perfect reunion. I know it would've been great to have every ranger there side by side the way that we had it back in the past. But there's just some things that are just out of our control. Things happen to people, people make decisions. It is what it is. Personally, a Power Rangers reunion is something I've been wanting for a long time, but after years of not seeing it, I kind of gave up on it. I just thought it was never going to happen. So the fact that we have this and that the people that are at least involved in this seem to be putting their all into making this the coolest looking Power Ranger special that they can do for their fans that have grown up with this series for the past 30 years. I just think that's awesome and I'm gonna count it as a blessing and look at it as a, at least I got this over nothing. Yeah, man, this trailer got me super hype. I don't need to see anything else. I'm just ready to see this special. I am ready for it. Netflix, <laughs> I don't know what data you collect <laughs> from my viewing habits, but get ready for a Power Range spike <laughs> when this special comes out. This man watched it how many times? <laughs> I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. May the power protect you.